It's been some time. Welcome back, guys, to the Schmodown Run Back with your boy Sober Ryu. It's so good to be back, man. I have been holding off on watching the Schmodown, not on purpose, just life. <laughs> <laughs> and life has been rough but it's all right we're back now we're back in the the goldilocks zone where we're able to sit down and binge watch a bunch of schmo down episodes and i'm hyped son i got four episodes to blow through i got the night sisters versus deep cuts i got uh a singles double feature i got inner geekdom five fatal five way another one son another one and we finally got the singles match i've been waiting for rachel kutching versus nick scarpino and in the background you hear a kid being tortured that's my nephew all right good shit <laughs> not sure if you can hear that but if i can hear those that through the headphones then you guys are you guys will only hear a lot of that during the stream but it's okay it's all right he's having a blast anyway um probably gonna be not a lot of beginnings and ends because i have to do so many so it's gonna take some time and i want to make sure i can uh, start to knock these out so before they start to build up I already had uh, the ending of one of these already spoiled for me I was watching uh, an, an unrelated show, but it had someone from that show on it and uh, uh, they they um, They had mentioned the uh, the outcome of this particular match uh, Although I don't know the details leading up to it or how things played out, but um, it's my fault I held off on watching these for so long that I uh, kind of, uh, of you know it, it, the chances are it's gonna happen So that's on me. I won't say which one until it actually uh, the match finally ends but um, we'll, 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 we'll get to it when we get to it. Anyway, the first of the four matches we're going to watch is the... Oh, I guess, I guess it's five matches, four videos. Um, the Night Sisters versus Deep Cuts is the first one out of the four. And they aired back on the 31st of March. Sorry, 31st of May. And um, it's going to be Emma Fife and Joelle Monique. They make up Team Night Sisters versus uh, Aaron Wilhelm. And of course, uh, Tad w Thad Williams, and those cats uh, usually work behind the scenes for Collider. Um, matter of fact, there's the poster right there. <laughs> That's an awesome uh, send up to uh, Attack on Titan. Look at the wheel burning. That's the best. <laughs> that shit looks great. Yo, shout out to Brian Ward, man. He makes such great artwork for this show. Um, I decided to uh, make a little bit of a layout change where you get to see the posters rotate through. And you may see posters for upcoming matches we're going to talk about today. So, um, yeah. Thanks for all the support, by the way, guys, on YouTube. Uh, everybody who's been uh, watching the videos. And before you watch this video, please make sure to watch out the watch the original first. You'll see the link for it down below. Um, also, make sure to subscribe to YouTube.com slash Collider Videos and YouTube.com slash Schmoes Know. It's super important that you guys support those channels. Otherwise, they can't keep great, creating great content because, you know, they can't bring home the bacon, y'all. Come on now. Come on. It's not hard. Go there, subscribe, support the videos. Thumbs up every video you watch from them because they put a lot of hard work into it. And, of course, leave a comment. And uh, leave if you, if, you, if you enjoyed what you liked and enjoyed, enjoyed what you watched, then leave a comment. If you have creative criticism, then be sensible about it and uh, offer some creative criticism. But regardless, be cool, or as always. Always be cool. ABC, baby. ABC of life. Anyway, let's get to it, man. Today, we're going to be doing the, the first match, which is the, that team match I told you about. Night Sisters versus Deep Cuts. Uh, Emma Fife uh, and uh, and Joelle had a, had a rough time that first match. Uh, this is their second match from what I can recall. Um, and this is the premiere match for Team Deep Cuts. Uh, they've worked behind the scenes before the show, but I don't think they've ever had the chance to play. Not even in the 35-man uh, uh, free-for-all that happened the other day. So uh, it's pretty much uh, their first match, and it makes me wonder if they're going to be uh, they're going to have beginner's luck, or if Night Sisters are going to run train on them because they've had that experience now. Had that experience. I'm kind of rooting for uh, Emma and Joelle because they had such a rough time of it the last time. I think they were up against Team Action. It was, uh, if they weren't, then they were up against, uh, I think it was Team Action. Um, because I remember Team Action won their first match and then lost their second, uh, against, uh, um, the Nerds Watch. I want to say the Night's Watch. I'm so hyped for Game of Thrones coming back. Jesus Christ, man. I can't be here fast enough. But yeah, um, so this is the redemption match. Hopefully they can win this. Uh, as much as, uh, I'm excited to see a brand new team in Aaron and Tad, uh, Thad. I want to say Tad, like, uh, Tad Ghostal. <laughs> Shout out if you guys know who that is. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this match regardless. It should be fun and interesting. So let's get to it. Uh, as always, if you're watching this um, uh, in tandem with the video, you can unpause the original video on one when I count down from three to one. And uh, thanks you guys for checking out the, um, the original video as well. And here we go on one, three, two, 
one. Woohoo! Yeah! Let's do this! <clears throat> ho ho! Yeah! Let's go! I'm ready! Hell yes! Oh, they got their lightsabers, they brought them! Ready to cut these fellas' heads off, yo! It's the Night Sisters versus the, the Party Boys! They should have been called the Party Boys, man. They dress like them. Yo, we got Campia on deck. I see you. All right. Yo, let's get ready to slow down and dig, Christian. The Night Sisters, who had a rough start against Team Action. Yeah, it was it was mad rough. It was Team Action. Good shit. My memory is a Swiss cheese after all. Yo, those assholes. I love them. Deep cuts. The question I have for you is, who the hell are they? Well, that's Who the fuck are they for real? About the showdown right now is that we are seeing a team division getting deeper and deeper all the time. Deeper more and, more and deeper. So we're, talking deep cuts. we're talking about guys that we are all very familiar with behind the scenes. Right. I know, because right? We know always, them. We know them. You don't, I, I, but you're about to. I've seen them on collider behind the scenes. Yeah, listen, we've got I've heard their names whispered. And Aaron. Now, oh my God, yo, look at them baby Wyatt faces. Fan, you'll definitely know all these names. And if you've been watching the showdown, you should know Aaron because Aaron Wilhelm cuts all these matches. So if yeah. he and he'll be cutting this one. Wonderful in this match is because he edited himself to look that way. That's right. Um, but, but Collusion. There's a lot to be said about these guys. <laughs> they, they both have very strong movie knowledge. That's the beauty of the showdown. Let's the sit there and listen to movie talk every damn day. No. And they can either impress you or tell me in a DM. Just like don't me. Ever have them on ever again. No, it's funny because you know, we're sitting around. What we have is the exposure to guys like that and Aaron. We can sit around a conference table every morning talking about movies and actually have one of our guys, that behind the scenes guys, talking and clearly knowing all of his stuff that you never get to see. Nope. And then we get a stage like the Schmodown. Relegated to the up. dungeons. And they're both really good guys. And you're going to see <laughs> right now the pleasant talk between all Oh, pleasant? Right oh, man. What Sipping tea over around the table. I am Emma Fife, and this is Joelle Monique. And uh -oh. together we are the Night Sisters. All right. Uh, we're a relatively new team here in the Schmodown. Had an unfortunate. Good to see Emma in the uh, in the in the squared circle, man. Boo. Oh shit. Been taken down. Yes. Don't like those guys. All right. Dad, <laughs> time's finally here. here. I can't believe it. It's uh, we've been talking about this for a while, so you probably don't really know who either of us. What's are. Cody getting in this, man? The ones behind the scenes editing videos like this. Aaron cuts every single one of these schmodes. Cody said, "Fuck this! I don't want none of the so nothing to do with I'm fucking playing the game." What we're gonna see out of these guys. I mean, as somebody who. Uh, is present for pretty much all of the Schmodown matches. Uh, I can say the same of that. And well, Aaron is the man that makes the magic. So uh, honestly, in some ways, nobody knows the game better than him. So he might be a tough yeah. competitor to beat. Might be. Oh shit! It gives us an Here's every question. Maybe you know we've done so much of this. We've been around it. I think things maybe just seek into your brain naturally. Little, little Osmosis Jones. But uh, Osmosis none of the Jones. Are oh gonna shit. Be the same. I would say that this match is about justification, just from the point of view that we don't really have a grudge against Thad and Aaron. You, you know, gotta be. You just need to have that fire. Yeah, they're, they're good guys. Get up in there, whoop that ass. To be competing against them, and I think it's just proving to everybody. As Gangstar said, X to the next girl. We've been sitting <laughs> in the background, behind the scenes, <laughs> pretended not to be there. Bench warmers. We're bench warmers. Bench warmers. Oh, yeah. oh shit! We finally got the call to the show. We finally got the call to the big leagues, and we are not. Get pulled out of obscurity, I am, fellas. I am pumped. I am ready to show the world that I can hang with the big boys. It's time to really set the world afire. You ready to get your sh pushing in? I'm just fucking with you. Actually, I don't have a matchup for this match because I don't know. I don't know what deep cuts potential is. I really don't. And just get in the game. I mean, if I was to. Based off experience, I'd probably give... <laughs> Watch me be wrong, because no, all my fucking predictions are wrong. Be, um, it's not really that Night Sisters 6-4. 6-4, it's, it's six four, but it's, they know. it's they it's know so they come in here and they don't barely a 6. There's a good chance you might not see them ever again. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, oh, damn! <laughs> but, but they also know that they have a chance to show that they have a really strong knowledge. perfect example of this is Jonathan Voiko. Yes. Jonathan Voiko was another guy behind oh, yeah. the scenes. Oh, yeah. Look at the Stranger Things picture. T-shirt. <laughs> team match and just put on a display and then uh, eventually went on to be in the free-for-all, did well there, and he's yep. had mm -hmm. a team with Perry. So who knows what right. we're going to see today? Well, look, we got two teams right now that are looking to start a winning track. You got two teams that are hungry to make names for themselves. Those are always the ones you got to look out for. Right on. You mentioned, of course, Jonathan Voiko with tough beats, stuff like that, the team they can't 
came out, they were hungry, they were in that spotlight for the first time. The question is, how will they handle the spotlight? How will yep. guys like Thad and Aaron handle being on Can they handle those lights, man? Those lights are tough, bro. When they're on you, the lights on them and everybody you may be at their faces and paying attention, <laughs> hanging on their every word. We're gonna see. Here's the tale of the tape Let right me see it. now for the night. Yo, fancy lightsabers. Star them shits ain't cheap, bro. Got no one really knows. And Making others look good. <laughs> And then you got deep cuts. Touche. So these could be 80s movies, action adventure movies. Yo, the, the Titans, yo, dust off them shoulders. They are in the mood to. <laughs> so there you go, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's the tale of the tape. John, I'm ready to go. How about you? Let's get this thing started. All ladies right. and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia. Well, what about Adam and uh, Cody? Adam and Cody should do one. So they should have a team. Introducing first. I heard their chemistry is off the charts. Representing. The fuck is this song? Oh shit, I know this. Oh hell yes. Yo, they even have shirts, man. Good shit, fellas. This is what I'm talking about, boys. That's what I'm talking about. God, what an entrance. I'm ready to play. To play. Put me in, coach. Me in coach. That's my shit. I haven't heard that song in ages. To play. Oh, oh here we go. They come to kill. Uh oh. The outskirts? The Wildlands? Oh, ho -ho! oh shit, yo, they even came out. Uh oh, yo, they're talking Yang to the camera. Yo, cops, to take it easy. Oh, that's a nice shirt, man. I see you. I see you. Them 80 Star Wars influence shirt. Oh, all right. Good shit, good shit. Good shit. I'd probably give Deep Cuts a four. Came out to a good musical selection. Came dressed up. Brought out props. Night Sisters, right, uh, they came out all right. They came out all right. I didn't know the song. They, they came out with the lights. It was though 3.5. 3.5, all right. All right, I'll see you. I'll see you. 3.5 stars. When you are done answering the question, please show it to the camera and say it. Please. Don't show it to the host. Show it to the camera. Show it to cops. Copy, cop, cop. Are you guys ready? Yes. Absolutely. Deep cuts. Are you ready? Happy to be here. Let's play ball, this man said. Good shit. Good shit. They, they winded me over, goddammit. What the fuck? Action adventure on Stranger Tides is which entry in the Pirates of the Caribbean film franchise? Uh, I want to say it's the fourth. I just went to go see the premiere of the newest film. Yeah, it was decent at best. I think <laughs> it's my favorite since the first one. Decent at best. It's, it's decent the fourth. It's the fourth. Five, I actually like the fourth one. I, I'm not, three, you know, it's not the best movie, two, but it was fun. Pens down and Joel. Two. That is no. Incorrect. Ten. Three. That no. That's also incorrect. I also said three. No. Oh my. God. Oh, they all struck out. God damn. Put me in, coach. Poor, poor, poor people. I myself. None of them got four, but all four got booed. Nobody falls behind. All right, guys. Let the crowd do. No one gives a fuck. In the category of animated films, in the film Balto, what kind of animal is Balto? It's a wolf. You ever have an animal named Balto? I had a girlfriend named Balto. Oh my god, please tell me y'all know this, man. I haven't dated yet. Wolf, man. Two, like one, Emma. Uh, those are not Emma, like, like Clark. Yes, that? he's yes. Like Clark. Let me fix my face. Dog and a wolf, we will accept wolf. That. Dog? We'll take that dog. We'll take that. Oh, might as well fuck it. I wrote what I believe is the specific type of dog, which is a husky. We, we will that accept well. that. Yes. Oh, well, shit. And wolf. And, and All right, everybody, everybody hit the ground. All right, I see you. I see you. Took a little, took a minute. Category Half comedy. wolf. What office rom com stars Mel Oh, working girl. Sigourney Weaver and Harrison Ford. I gotta try that shit where you. I need to get a whiteboard, look away from the screen, and actually write it down on the whiteboard like all the other cats do nowadays. That's true. Five, now that's interaction. That's good practice. Shout outs to Late to the Party, man. Shout outs to them, man. They, they, I think they recorded their uh, episode. I think something from the 80s, probably. <laughs> also, correct. Aaron, working girl. Working yes. Correct. Joel. No, I ain't did get it. Did get it, Thad? No. Oh, right. at least somebody did. That's Fuck it. All right, yo, deep cuts, baby. God damn. All right, guys, your fourth question comes to you in the category 
of drama. Uh oh. For what film did actress Hilary Swank win her first Academy Award? Uh, I want to say it's Boys Don't Cry. I want to say it's Boys Don't Cry. Actually, I like her a lot. She's really good. Dude, stay away from those rom coms, though. Hideous. Yes. Not good. Damn. She won again for a million dollar baby, but Boys Don't Cry was the first one. Boys Don't Cry? That's correct. correct. Good shit. Good shit. Go nice. Boys Don't Cry. Woo! Great movie. Boys Don't Cry. There you go, and Emma. I put the other one. Million Dollar oh, Baby. Oh, damn it. 5-3. Five, five, deep cuts now going up by two. The next question in the category of family films. Name the award-winning actress who played the character. Nanny McPhee. That's one of my wife's favorite Nanny movies. It's uh, Emma Thompson. The character of Nanny it's Emma Thompson. Not a film I rushed out to see. Okay. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. I can't stand it. It's a little awkward. It's like putting a corsage on your prom date. It's awkward. <laughs> it's super awkward. I've had to do that shit. Woo! All right. Emma Thompson. Let's go. No, it's Emma or Emily. Something with an E. Damn. That. Emma Thompson? That's correct. correct. Emma Fight, yeah. please tell me you know. Emma Thompson. Thank correct. you. Thank you. Emma Thompson. That's correct. Correct. Your namesake, for Christ's sakes. Deep cuts a three point lead now. And nice sister staying in. They're staying in it. All right, guys. We now move into it's the toughie, category bro. of fantasy sci fi. In what blockbuster film in 1982 Man. does actress <laughs> D. Wallace play the mother of three children? That would be E.T. Oh Did damn! You really? no. <laughs> <laughs> so You're lying, son of a bitch! Hey, but Chris has been to space though. One <laughs> didn't have it. Didn't have it, Emma. Oh man, ET. E Thank correct. you. ET. E yes. Correct. Come on. <laughs> no. Don't tell mom and babysitters. Oops. Oh my God. Five. Deep cut still up by three, oh but the Night Sisters did get one. It's a pretty point. commanding lead. Mm. All right, next category is horror slash thriller. Horror thriller. Who directed the bloody cautionary tale for anyone traveling abroad? Hostel. That would be Eli Roth. This was one of those Eli motherfucking Roth. Man, I'm doing all right today. I've gotten all of them so far. Holy shit. JTE once lived in a hostel with D. Wallace. Four. Get on there, Photoshop Kings. <laughs> I want to see how oh, JTE doing his fucking his th thumbnail I poses. That dude, because I could not. No, nah. Eli Roth, right, man. I got his name. I put the bull Jew. Oh, from, uh, from bear Jew, bear. the bull Jew. <laughs> the the yeah. bear Jew, man. Uh, Joel. I got nothing. Eli Roth. Eli Roth. Yo, that, yo, that has been killing it, man. Except for the first question, he's been in it, man. That's what's up. I think so. I think he may have gotten all but the first. Once they head into round number two, and going into round number two, your final question around number one comes to you in the category of comic book films. Might be MVP of the game. In the movie Guardians of the Galaxy, Chris Pratt plays Star Lord, whose birth name. Is what? Please, y'all get this, man. This is probably Everybody's the easiest right question. The Peter Quill. Not Aaron. Not Aaron. Aaron got caught up in <clears throat> Peter Quill. Come on. Oh, no. That, that. Tell me you got this. It was Peter Quill, bro. Like like a like a pen. One pen sound, please, and Aaron. Peter Quill. Got Thank it. you, sir. Right. Pulled it out. Peter Quill. You got All right, good shit. Right. Peter Quill. Got well done, well done. Peter Quill. Peter good Quill. shit. Y'all needed that point. for. Y'all need those points for real. Deep cuts. Woo. Unfortunately, Deep Cuts got the points too. So round number two works like this. That's the teams quite the will uh, spin on their the gap to cross. That wheel's gonna have to be awful to kind to Deep Cuts. I'm sorry, not the awful got. kind to to, uh, to Night Sisters, man. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Questions. They can confer. Oh, Each man. one is worth two points apiece, unless of course they go for multiple choice. Then it'll go down to one point. Your opponents can steal in this round. Mm. All right. So Deep Cuts, you guys are in the lead here. Would you like to go first or second? We'll go first. You're gonna go All right. first. All right. Give it a good spin, right. please. I've never spun the wheel from well, this side of the table. No, oh, oh, oh. You got the, it. You got uh, it, baby. Come on. We give oh. people shit if they don't give it a good spin. Oh, <laughs> good spin. This is your first, man. And here it goes. Show and proof. I see you. He's had practice. Sure. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Woo! Woo! Get the fuck off that spot. No. Fuck no. No. Get the, no. Get that shit out of here. Get it out of here. No whammies. No whammies, bro. Big bucks. Big bucks. Big bucks, baby. Woo! Okay, oh, good. good enough. Oscar 
Oh, sure, a lot better than what you had, man. All Fuck right. all that noise. All right, Let's go. Movies. Let's see how they do. All movies about Oscars. No. All right, They're ready to play, man. The first question is about Sylvester Stallone. Oscar movies. <laughs> Sidney Pollack won the best director Oscar. This one's about Schindler's List. Oh, fuck. Um, Tootsie. It's incorrect. Oh, damn. I would have gone multiple choice, man, because I don't know offhand. And they don't have options for multiple choice. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, we got nothing. <laughs> for out of Africa. Oh, oh fuck. Well, right. I struck out on that, too. I can't say Number shit. Number two. I gotta say, Emma's nicely which dressed. Which film did singer-actress Cher win her only yeah. Academy Award? Moonstruck, if I recall. Moonstruck. Correct yeah. for Correct two for points. Two points. Ah. Deep cuts now going up. Right. Was Cher in Mask? I think she was in Mask. Cher, but... people. Right. Cher. In which sure. film does Barbara Streisand sing the Academy Award nominated song Papa, Papa Can Hear Me? I want to say it's, uh, oh, what's that movie? Lentil? Yentl? I think it's Yentl. Uh, multiple choice. Yeah, All please. Right. Is it A, Funny Girl, B, Funny Lady, C, Nuts? Funny Girl. That's incorrect. It's Yentl. Can we, are we allowed to finish hearing the options? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Because they chose, because they chose it, you can hear it. Yeah. So it is it A, yeah. Funny Girl, B, Funny Lady, C, Nuts, D, Yentl. 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 That's correct. Yeah. Right. That's correct. I want to say lentil, like lentil soup. Woo! You gotta listen, man. Damn, you watch every episode, man. You edit them all. Shit. Oscar winning film Argo. Who plays John Chambers, a Hollywood makeup artist who had previously crafted the sky? I want to say John Goodman. It's John Goodman. John Goodman? That's correct. correct. Two, Two points. points. <laughs> All right, deep cut. Still in it here in a seven point lead as we get to question five. Man. Jack Nicholson has received. The girls may have a chance to Oscar catch up. Nominations. What film did he receive his first nomination for? Ooh. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, this possibly? Deep, it's probably before, and that's, really that's a deep quote. Cut. I would go multiple choice. I wouldn't even fuck around with this if you don't know. Is yeah, it please. A, Easy Rider? B, oh. Five Easy Pieces? C, The oh, Last it's B. Detail? D, the I think it's B. Gardens. He's barely an Easy Rider, if I recall. No, maybe he's in it a lot. I haven't seen it. Easy Rider? That's correct. Oh, good shit. Uh, good point, shit. Don't listen to me. I, ain't, I don't know shit. <laughs> Let's go. Actress Ingrid Bergman won her second best wow. Oscar Academy Award for which film? Is she in Casablanca? This is a tough it's a category, tough category like, man. Rachel Cushing or a Dan uh, but it'd been a lot harder on the fucking romantic comedy. We'll take the physical challenge on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Good shit. A, Good shit. Gaslight, B, the Bells of St. Mary's. I want to say it's Anastasia, B. D, Autumn Sonata. I want to say it's B. Bells of St. Mary's? It's incorrect. Damn. Gaslight? That's yeah, incorrect. She no. won for Gaslight, but uh, she was nominated. She won her. She won her first one for Gaslight. Um, Anastasia was the answer. Anastasia. Uh, All right. Oh, wow. So after that, it is sixteen to race. eight, an eight-point lead. God damn. And now that's if they toughy, have a man. Round, the Night Sisters can come <laughs> back. Some competitors like, on the show would have ran through please. that category like yeah, nothing. Yeah, What's yeah, um. Jeff may have gone through that category. I know that fucking um. Bibiani or um. Or McWinnie probably would have tore that category up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's a good one. That may not be the strongest suit. Oh, shit, fellas. Uh, ladies. No. No. Oh, no shame. Here we go. Oh, oh. Woo! Woo! That's actually in the wheelhouse, I would imagine. Good. I'm glad the wheel was kind to them. <laughs> I can chase that at post. Your first question around number two under the category of Chinese <clears throat> movies. In the film, Get Shorty, who plays the mobster Ray Barboni? Oh, man. I mean, I want to say, I don't know the name. I know John Travolta was a mobster in the movie, but there's a lot of them. Sure John Travolta, can. possibly? Is it A, Chaz Palminteri, B, James Gandolfini, Gandolfini. James C, is in it. Dennis Farina, or D, Ray Liotta? What it would be. I know James. I know Gandolfini was in the movie, and I think Farina was in it too. But B, B. I'm go Dennis. C. Correct. Yeah. Oh, right, good shit. <laughs> well done. All right, your second question under the category of '90s movies. All right. Who played Birdie in the 1994 basketball <laughs> drama <laughs> Above the Rim? Of the Rim. Oh fuck! Fuck a duck. <laughs> nope. Uh, completely. Uh, we'll go multiple.
multiple choice. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's better than nothing, a, I'll tell you. Marlon Wayans. B. Tupac Shakur. I want to say. C, Kadeem. Ha I know Shakur and Hardison were in it. C. Kadeem I'm gonna go with Kadeem Hardison. D. James Marshall. Kadeem Hardison. The first one. Marlon Wayans. That is incorrect. It's Hardison, from James a different from world. Steel. C. That is also incorrect. We were Tupac? Tupac Shakur. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? Well, Tupac is in it. I didn't know he played Birdie. All right, guys, your third question. Fuck. Robin Williams won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in what 90s film? Dead Poets Society? Was that the 90s? No, no, sorry. It was, um, fuck. Uh, Good Will Hunting. One thing, yes. That is correct for yeah. two Good points. Dead Poets Society was the 80s. <laughs> All right, your, four, your fourth question. Who played Albert Einstein in the 1994 romantic fuck. comedy... IQ. I totally forget. We're gonna have to go multiple choice <laughs> on that one. Yeah, you're gonna. Uh, I would have to. Is it A. Walter Matthau? Yes. B. J.K. Simmons. It's Mo Walter C, Matthau. Art Carney. D. George Seagal. A. All day. It's definitely not J.K. Five, Simmons. Art. Four. That is incorrect. <laughs> Team D cuts for the steal. Walter Matthau. Matthau. Correct for <laughs> one point yeah, steal. I've seen this film. All right. <laughs> Brutal. Vaguely familiar with it, but uh, yeah, no. All right. <laughs> Last question. question. Okay, cool. They got two more. Good shit. <laughs> Come on, Who guys. Who stars opposite Harrison Ford in the oh, film Anne Heche. Six Days, Seven Nights? Anne Heche. I've never, never, never seen that movie before, I know. Josh, all I ever do is watch TV these days. Come on. Five, five, four, <laughs> three. Double, double choice. choice. All right. Is it A, Elizabeth Shue? B, Anne Heche. Yeah. C, Meg Ryan. Nope. D, Kelly Preston. It's Anne Heche. Uh, we'll go Anne Heche. Thank God. Correct. <laughs> Good shit. Woo. They last needed that. Day. I was in a hurry there. All right. Your final question around number two in the category of 90s films. Who plays the beautiful scientist, Dr. Oh Emma Russell? Oh, my God. In 1997's The, the Saint. Saint. I know Val Kilmer was in the movie. I could not. His movie. Um, I'm <laughs> fucking. <laughs> What's her name? Uh, <laughs> is it um, A. Phoebe Cates? B. Meg Ryan. Elizabeth Shue, boy. C. Julia Roberts. God damn. Or D. Elizabeth Shue. I'm gonna go with Elizabeth Shue because it's not. I don't think it's Ryan or Roberts, and I doubt it's Phoebe Cates. Fine. Uh, <sighs> we will go with uh, Phoebe Cates. That is incorrect. It's uh, Elizabeth Shue. Elizabeth Shue. Correct. Correct. Lead. So deep cuts now has put themselves. She shows up more than once. She's, She's got to be an answer somewhere. Third round. All right, round number three. Here's how it works. Whoo! Hope they have a really good, 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 good third round. They have to pick three categories they know intently. On top of that, deep cuts are going to pick three categories they don't know shit about. All right, here we go. So deep cuts, you guys are in the lead. Please pick three numbers from one to twenty-five. All right, uh, we'll go 24 for Roger Dorn of the Cleveland Indians. Oh, wow. uh, the blow-ups. <laughs> eight for Dottie of the Peaches, and three was Don Madden? for Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Oh, uh, Benny the Jet. <laughs> well done, well done. All right, Stay on brand. Nine sisters. All right. Knocking them out the park, bro. With two. I love it. Uh, uh, 19. <laughs> Two, Let's go for five and for the Stainless Scouts. Two, oh, Jordan? And All right. Jordan. So the Knight Sisters are going to go and try to avoid a TKO here as the first category is category. They literally have to re add two. the answer all three questions. That would be the category of Disney films. Even before, uh, the, like uh, before Deep Cuts could even answer a question. Like answer oh, now I have to answer all three. They just need to answer... Right, they need to get the five-point question right, among all right, else. Emma, above all else, they have to get that. Voices the streetwise Dodger. Oh what shit, 19? Oliver and Company. Oliver and Company. That is Good <laughs> shit. Good right. stuff, good stuff, good stuff. All right, now, in the game. Now, Joelle goes, and she has number 19. Your category, number 19, is rom coms. Who played the overachieving high schooler Tracy Flick in the movie Election? Election. Uh, oh fuck, that's. Oh um, god. Is it Matthew Broderick? No, it's a girl. It's it Reese Witherspoon. Uh. All right, so it comes down to the the 
Night Sisters need to hit their. They have to. In order to stay At least they can the collaborate on this one. Category number twenty-three. You guys can confirm this in the category of westerns. Okay. Ooh. All right. Cool. Okay. Okay. Cool. okay. It's All a right. tough one sometimes. Who did Paul Newman <laughs> play? I'm gonna say Billy the, the Kid. Gun. Billy the Kid. I don't even fucking know. Who I've never seen Paul that movie. Oh, that's a tall. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Five. Uh, we're gonna go uh, Jesse James. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, winner! Coach, <laughs> I'm ready to play. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> I'm ready to play. To play. <laughs> Hell yes! Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> he edited himself in there. <laughs> Yo, that's awesome. We're gonna talk to the wild man. Josh Bill, Bill, Scoot, Bill. What's up, movie trivia? Oh, Small shit. Fans? Josh McCougar here, back for some post-match interviews with first-timers, the Deep Cuts. First-timers, first man. Time, congratulations on I'm sorry I doubted you, well fellas, done. man. Fuck. Uh, that, that first round. I mean, listen. Again, always bet against field. what I bet on. Finally All right? In front of You'll always team. win. Under the lights. What was that like? <laughs> uh, go ahead. Uh, give me a mic. Uh, it uh, it was it was a challenge. I think it was uh, it was a little bit different. I've regularly done really well sitting behind the desk. Yeah, uh, it's a lot different sitting at the desk. Oh, it sure is. Uh, with the lights on, did not do as well as I uh, would have hoped. But uh, we got through that first round okay, unscathed for the most part. I'm really bummed that I didn't remember Eli Roth. I knew yeah. him. I had him in my face. Oh, I just I had him in my name, face. And I'm sorry if I offended anybody at all by saying uh. the. I heard the bull Jew and then I heard bull Jew. Jew. It's actually the bear, bear Jew. Jew. Yeah, again, My apologies. Bad. Uh, hey, listen, to, to Jewish we people everywhere. The movie. We didn't make up the character. That's right. I'm <laughs> now, uh, this was a, for all intents and purposes, a TKO. Uh, you know, you get in the first, I mean, again, a great debut for you guys. Oh, they got, they What's first, next? the first this, win this was the KO. Get out. You, you guys got the taste of it. You got your baseball uniforms on. Looking strong, if I may say. Uh -huh. I think like we said, we came in here thinking this is our We're shot. Cleats? We got our call to the big leagues and, you know, we needed to prove ourselves so we didn't go big to the minors. So I think we proved ourselves. I think, I think, I think uh, we I see I you think deep cuts. On the roster. Cut and deep. I, I would hope, I would hope that we'd get another shot of, shot of playing. I don't, I, I don't know who would be our next competitors, but I really don't care. I will take on. I <laughs> don't give a fuck. Want to keep going? Oh my god! Yo, rotten tomatoes. Got, Let's go. They've got that fever. They've got the schmo down. God, this sure is noisy. I'm sorry, guys. Fever. They look great in the baseball pants. I love their theme song. I'm singing it in my head right Hell, now. Me too, is bro. There something you guys would like to say before we get out of here? I just want to. I got crap in my eyes. I'm sorry, yeah, guys. I can't think of uh, thing. <laughs> I'll just say. I'll just say thank you to the commissioner for giving us yes. our shot. Hell us yeah. The call. Shout out to Christian. We were kind of on him about it. We got our shot, but now he can thank us because we just had a really good game. Yeah. Like in baseball, they will be tested for PEDs immediately after this interview. That's right, man. I'm screwed. All right, let's talk to uh, the other Hand him a cup, bro. Next. What's up, guys? John, we're coming here with the usual suspect interviewing the Mayhem. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, Emma Fife and Joelle Monique. Uh, ladies, you put up a great fight. There were some really tough questions out there. How are you feeling right now? You know, uh, as someone who's often present for the Schmodown or basically always present for the matches, <laughs> I was a little concerned going into this match because I've been doing really well backstage in the last several matches. So oh, yeah, that's always a bad sign, right? We're going to hit uh, a string of questions I don't know. And, that sucks. You know, I was kind of right. <laughs> hey, Oliver and Company was a nice... In there, but you guys was a nice clutch, though, I gotta uh, Joel, say. How are you feeling right Not now? many people remember that movie. This just isn't going our way. Oh, my gosh. Maybe right after the first round, I was like, how are we down? It's so much. This is super frustrating. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I feel, I feel like we're a good team, and maybe we're just in the wrong subject. Maybe we need to move over to TV yeah. and start a TV I think both Emma and uh, Joelle need to, <laughs> need to really pursue uh, voice acting because you know, they have there were some very significant voices, I've got to say. It sounds like they should the be doing cartoons two, three years ago. I've seen maybe not a lot of movies, movies that you guys have seen. You guys watch the Smowdown and you kind of you cast for voice actors. Yes. You need to look at them. Uh, mostly wasn't. Uh, what the was Saint? The yeah, no, no. It was more like Clueless, Save mm. the Last Dance. Yeah. Can't Hardly Wait. Just because you grew up in the 90s, I mean, you, you, yeah, 
great Fantastic. movies. You're strong on all the movies in the 90s. I know I'm not. They weren't on the docket. And I saw a lot uh, of movies in the 90s. What's Shit. Next for you ladies? Well, I feel like I would like to put myself in a competition wherein I am more likely to get one of my strong categories mm. because every time we get a category them. that I know. Yeah. I Matter of fact, we're well, going to see you later so, in Inner Geekdom. Uh, I'm coming for the Inner Geekdom. Yes. Hell yeah. Hell That's yes. I, I see you. It. Coming in hot for yep. the Inner Geekdom. Coming in hot. I'm a ride or die right there with her. I'm super excited about it. <laughs> ride or die. These ladies, listen, don't take them lightly. They oh. come in hot. They are not ladies of the night. That's wrong. They are the night sisters. sisters. Guys, I'm Josh McCougar. No, you're Star Wars. Back. You don't want to see me here. You want to see me yelling into <laughs> the microphone in the fantasy update. We just see it. I do. Two and a half minutes. Will you elbow Christian Cody into sum submission? I see you. Let's go. A lot of love here, as you see. Yep. And, 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 I mean, it's good shit. It's a good match. Play again. They're, they liked it. They liked to, to be in front of the camera this time around. And the night sisters were, were bummed. They, were, so they caught some bum categories there. But Emma obviously knows she's going to be around for a little bit. And Joella, I think that they both said that they want to play a little bit in the inner geekdom league. So that possibly yeah. Happens. Yeah, and look, it you just makes sense. Sit back and look in your newspaper tomorrow morning and see the score of 1814. Don't forget Team Team <laughs> Yo, in the newspaper? did not answer any <laughs> third round questions. Right. Oh, 18 yeah. points without having to answer a single question in the third round. This is an impressive score for a first yeah. time out. It's a very good debut, absolutely. Damn straight. The question is now, how are they going to fare against some of these teams that are out there? What are they going to do? Who are they going to play? Uh, very interested to see. And how about you guys? What did you guys think of the match? Do you think Deep Cuts is going to be able to last against a team like Team track or team action what do you guys think go ahead and comment tell us exactly what you think below check oh, out the new already page, am <laughs> page. Over but yes please guys in there and it keeps growing make sure you check that out <coughs> check out the schmodown rundown you want to get a recap of everything going on the, <laughs> the all these pictures the rundown that's it's a great podcast, podcast, man. Christian Harloff. Don't sleep on it. Wild man again? Well, then you should, because him and Cody are going to do some messy shit. Oh, are they? Oh shit! What are they going to do? Da 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 British Cody Hall. British? Cody, when you playing, bro? I insist you do. After today's episode, perhaps we have two teams. The deep cuts, deep cuts, but all the hell of a performance without actually answering any round three questions. The deep cuts are a team that you should play. Cody the Spider-Man. They know their stuff. They are always Damn, in wrong. the matches or behind the scenes. Thus mm -hmm. knowing a lot of questions. It appears the Night Sisters will be on hold for the time being. The Night Sisters are breaking up so Emma Five can channel her oh. in Harry Potter and go after so they've been the forced. So it was a breakup match? Title. Oh, she has man. big hair and she considers herself a Slytherin. Slytherin? Oh, Cougar. no. For all of oh, no. other Schmodown updates and perhaps all British news, go to Schmodown. That's, that's, that's no. bad out the gate. Black backslash i'm sorry that i've offended every one of our british audience members oh, <laughs> you have though we will see you next time on the movie trivia showdown you cause yourself a sticky wicked bro and god save the queen god <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo he's a beef eater i see hey guys call. if you like this oh, ashley video, moba taking this home up button Make sure you subscribe mm -hmm. to our youtube channel it'll help you stay up to date with everything but it's collider thing though collider all right good shit we back baby be back anyway that was a great episode of the schmodown we got plenty more where that came from uh coming up next is going to be a single singles double feature starting off with jonathan voitko versus stacy howard man jonathan the vulture voitko versus uh six degrees stacy howard and then on that same episode we got scott Mance, yeah yeah versus how <gasps> the icon the iconic one rudnick yo oh, i love me some how but Mance is going to mop the floor with him. He's going to mop him up. I can't wait. It's going to be father and son just in time for Father's Day. All right. Make sure you treat your father right. Take him out to dinner. Give him a cold one. All right. I see you. And treat Mance to a cold one, too, when you see him in public. I see you. I see you, Scott Mance. Yo, Access Hollywood, man. Get them reviews in. Anyway. We're going to be coming back with that episode. Should be a lively feature. I'm ready for another double feature. It's been, it's, it's been a, a week. <laughs> Things like two weeks ago we got one. So um, that's what's up. Anyway, thanks for watching. 
If you like what you see here, uh, subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash Shinjuku Station. More importantly though, make sure you go to the original video and leave a like and a comment. Uh, it definitely helps the show. Um, the more likes and comments it gets, the better guests they get on the show. So uh, definitely support the Movie Trivia Schmodown. It's, uh, it's a fun time had by all. And uh, introduce a friend to it too. Uh, introduce someone that you know would like movie trivia. If you go out to trivia with someone, maybe they would like a show like that. Um, so introduce them to that, man. Uh, spread the word, man. And also make sure to visit the Facebook group, which is uh, facebook.com slash uh, group slash Schmodown. Um, also, they're on Reddit. Just go to Google and type in Reddit Schmodown, and you'll find it. They have the all the, all they have the entire list of uh, sessions that are coming up. If you want to know what's happening when, so that's a really good place to find out where the schedule's at. And uh, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and set you free for this one. We'll be back in a little bit with the the double feature, man. See you soon. Peace. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.